What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we are all the way in Poughkeepsie, New York on the beautiful Mayor's College campus and we are going to be taking out another space for my boy Zach who won a giveaway over on Instagram. Now, let me show you guys what we're gonna do with his room. Now, Zach is a film student and that's pretty easy to see once you step into his room, but since we're working with a dorm room where things aren't permanent, we decided to focus more so on his desk where he'd be getting most of his work done. And his previous setup was pretty much his MacBook, an Apple Magic Mouse, and a wireless charger, and a dock that he'd use to sometimes connect to his TV. And I don't think that quite cuts it for a film student who's going to be working on photos and videos, so we decided to upgrade him to this. So now Zach is rocking a beastly dual monitor setup with two 24 inch 4K LG ultrafine monitors, which will be absolutely amazing for him to do video and photo editing on. Not only does he have access to pixels galore, but he gets way more ports on the back of these with a total of four Thunderbolt 3 ports and six USB Type-C between the two monitors. Not only that, but you can daisy chain the monitors so that they're connected to each other instead of the MacBook. And this is important because I plan on having this setup work with just a single Thunderbolt 3 cable connected to the MacBook. This way is going to be really easy for him to just dock into the setup or pull it out when he needs to run to class. And as someone who also edits and color grades footage, this is like the only monitor that I trust to get any of my work done because of the Mac compatibility as well as the color accuracy. It just matches up perfectly with the MacBook. LG also has a 27 inch version, which is what I've got here in the studio, but the 224s work really well with his setup. And LG was actually cool enough to sponsor the video and giveaway so that we could hook him up with these monitors. Now, of course, we had to swap out that magic mouse with my favorite mouse of all time the Logitech G602. And if you watch my videos for a while now, you know I love this because it's a super ergonomic mouse which is just really comfortable to use. And it also has those six macro buttons on the sides. So if you're editing, you'll be able to map all those editing shortcuts right to those buttons, which makes life a lot easier. This should be a game changer for him. And that mouse now sits on a very classy mouse pad from GazePad. And this is an awesome leather looking mouse pad, which also has wireless charging built right into it. So if he wants to have his phone nearby and charging at the same time, it'll be right there. And since this is a dock setup, I decided to add a keyboard for him, but not just any keyboard. We added the Logitech Craft Wireless Keyboard, which is just great for creators. It's also got matte compatibility with that little dial that you see in the top left. With that dial, you'll be able to control the volume as well as the brightness on the displays. But not only that, it also has software compatibility with some Adobe products like Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator, and even some Microsoft products from Office. And one of my favorite things about it is that it's a backlit keyboard that senses when you're about to type on it and the backlights just pop on as soon as your fingers start hovering over the keys. It's honestly just a cool effect. Now an underrated product that we have on his desk is the Elgato Stream Deck. Now the Elgato Stream Deck is awesome because just like we have with the Logitech G602, we have a bunch of programmable buttons that he can use for shortcuts to make his editing process a lot easier. And even if he isn't using them for editing shortcuts, he can still map his favorite programs or editing software to these so that it's really easy to just pop open certain programs and it'll just make his work flow a bit faster in that way. And I threw in some external storage with a one terabyte Samsung T5 SSD. And with this SSD, it's perfect to take around with him, even if he doesn't leave it at his setup. So if he's on the shoot and he's working with a lot of footage, he can dump some of that on his SSD and then plug it right into the monitor and have it all hooked up when he's ready to dock in his MacBook. And speaking of footage, we also threw in another dock from IO Gear. And with this, you get access to a ton of different ports from micro SD cards to regular SD cards, USB ports, you name it. This thing has a ton of options for the MacBook. And we of course have it plugged into the LG monitor. And while the LG monitor gives you a ton of ports, it doesn't hurt to have some extra IO at the bottom. Not to mention, he can take this dock out of the monitor and take it with him on the go. And it'll actually work as a little stand for the MacBook and still get access to all of those extra ports. And of course, since he's gonna be doing some video editing, you gotta have some audio. While the LG monitors do have built-in speakers, we decided to get him some Logitech Z533 speakers so that he can have a better audio experience. And this thing also has a subwoofer and it also includes a little dial so he can control the volume and the bass so he can have a lot of access and control to his sound. And I think this setup pretty much covers all of the bases for editing, but let's see what he thinks of it. Oh Bam. my God. This is all you, man. You've got two LG Ultrafine displays, 24 inches, 4K goodness. Awesome. So you're gonna be all set. Right here, this setup, 
it's all running off one cable. Oh, that's awesome. So when, whenever you're ready, all you have to do is plug in one cable, your MacBook's done. So we've got a new keyboard for you. What do you use to edit? Uh, Premiere. This thing actually has integration with Premiere or Photoshop, whatever you choose, where you can use the dial that's in that top left corner and you can adjust like brightness and different oh, settings awesome. within the program. It illuminates when you just put oh, your hand see. over it, so it'll illuminate whenever you're ready to start typing on it. And right here, we got the Logitech G602. This one's my favorite mouse, because it has like all these buttons on the side, so if you want to edit, you can just map some of your favorite oh, shortcuts cool. right to it. It should make editing a lot faster, yeah. trust me. This is a really cool mouse pad where it's got like a nice leather finish, so it goes with your clean, classy look here. And this is actually a wireless uh, charging pad. Oh, cool. So it's built right into it. You can just drop your phone when you're editing and then oh, it'll start awesome. charging. We got you the Samsung T5 uh, SSD. Oh, so like sweet. a small lightweight SSD. Uh, speakers have the subwoofer at the bottom. So you'll get some good bass out of there. I see we also have right here the Elgato Stream Deck. You can actually set different programs. You can map different programs to each of those buttons and you can see there's a whole ton of them. So if you want to open something like Premiere, you just press that. Oh, that's Premiere awesome. pops right open, yeah, that's you know? Cool. And of course, we had to get you a dock so that you can Put in like your micro SD cards and things like that. Oh, so sweet. you got even more ports. And of course, you know, we have to throw in a light strip to yeah. make the desk cool. <laughs> you got to have a light strip, yeah. right? This is awesome. Thank you so much. Of course, of course. So your setup before was actually having this and using your yeah, TV. Yeah, so I would, it wasn't when I was doing like work mostly. It was like if okay. I was streaming something, I'd got put it on there. But I mostly just had like the laptop on the desk. Okay. So this is amazing compared oh, to that yeah I'm, I'm glad you like it man guys hopefully you enjoyed seeing another place get teched out zach zachary what zach. Are you, zach. zach okay yeah. we call him zach so zach definitely likes it if you enjoyed it be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video so then it's your average consumer peace